Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Betty Crocker. These are muffin tops. This is the chocolate chip mix. It includes a brown sugar streusel, it says. It was $2.58 at Walmart. Uh, so what you need for this mix, it says it makes 16 muffin tops. We'll see about that. Um, you need a fourth cup of water, a fourth cup of vegetable oil, and an egg. You want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, 375 for non-stick pan, a grease pan, stir muffin top mix, water, oil, egg, and a medium bowl just until blended. Okay, so I did not grease my pan. I have a cookie sheet. I use parchment paper, so that's what I have. When you open up this mix, you get a pack of the streusel, which I got a bowl out to put that in, but I think I'll be able to get it out of there just fine. I won't open that yet. Here's your mix. It looks like a chocolate chip melted or something at the top. It's washed. Yeah. So you just dump everything in here and stir it together just like you would a, a cake mix. Water, egg, and then oil. Very thick, <laughs> just so you know. So now it says to take a tablespoon and drop uh, tablespoons of these onto your uh, cookie sheet. say you're, it makes 16 muffin tops. I got 15 on my pan. And then it says you are supposed to open your streusel topping and you're supposed to top each muffin top with about half a teaspoon. So I actually have half a, half a teaspoon out. And just so you know, it would have probably made the exact amount of muffin tops. But I... Um, some of these, I, I made them more rounded, and, and I was a little bit more generous with uh, some than others. So now you want to bake these. It says for 10 to 13 minutes. I'm going to bake mine for 12 minutes, and then we'll be back. This is how the muffin tops look, and I've allowed them to cool for a little while, so I might not, there we go. They're easy to pick up, that's for sure. I'm wondering if you pick it up and you, like, turn it. Yeah, some of that stuff is going to fall off. So, I bought a bunch of these other muffin top uh, mixes. Um, I'm wondering for now on if I shouldn't, like, push, if they come with strudel, I, I, streusel. I don't know if they all come with streusel, but if they do, you might want to push that in a little bit just so it doesn't fall off the top. But that is how they look. It does say on the box, do not eat raw muffin batter or raw topping. So I just want to let you know that. And it does say Betty's tip for easy cleanup, use parchment paper, which is what I did. Um, it says two muffin tops prepared are 260 calories. So. Well, it's a lot more than I would have thought. Two or 260. Yeah, and, and like I said. Well, I, they are. They're not very big. <laughs> I should have gotten one more. I should have gotten I 16. I got 15. But some of them I did rounded tablespoons, you know, because it was, it was easier. Oh, they're kind of like, um, it kind of looks cakey, doesn't it? It's kind of like a fluffy cookie. Mm -hmm. More than either. Mm -hmm. It does really remind me of muffin. Mm -mm. But it's not quite a cookie either. But, but if I were to try, if you were to give me those, mm -hmm. I would definitely say it was a cookie. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like the flavor. But do you think it reminds you, it's only supposed to be a muffin top. Yeah, but it doesn't have the texture of a muffin really at all. I don't think. Muffins are a little more... Um, um, Cakey and fluffy and, and springy. But I do think that has some of that. I do think Maybe it is cake-like. A little bit. Like I said, it's kind of in between that and a cookie. I agree. But it's, it's more cookie-like than muffin-like. 
I believe it's uh, because of the shape, it definitely is like a cookie. And you feel like you're making cookies when you're doing these. Um, they're, um, they're easy to make. Mm -hmm. They are a little time consuming just because it's a lot of tablespoons. <laughs> you know, it's 15 and then you're going through and putting the streusel on. Not hard at all though. Something that definitely the kids could help with. I think uh -huh. kids would enjoy putting a spoonful, you know, on each one of the streusel and all that. Um, they, it tastes good. It tastes like chocolate uh -huh. I like the flavor of them. And the flavor's really nice and they're a little bit warm still. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they really have a nice flavor. The streusel on top does add a little bit different texture. Mm -hmm. It adds a little bit of crunchy and sweetness to it. Oh, it um, the streusel the does add to it. Yeah. I still think if you were given this on a plate and said, try that and you ate it, you'd go, mm, that's a pretty good cookie. You, I think I would call it a cookie because of the shape and the size. But honestly, it is very cake-like when yeah. you bite into it. It's cake-like it, cookies too. It's, so yeah, it's, it, it is very cake-like to me. So I get the muffin top thing. I get that they're going that direction. Yeah. Uh, so, like I said. They're good though. One way or the other. Yes, it is good. And we bought more of these. And we bought like four of these mixes. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to try them all. I hope you all enjoyed this video and you'll be back for the rest. But if you like chocolate chip, I think you're going to like this. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.